What is up, Boo Boo Gang? Welcome back to another eating show. So today, we're gonna be eating Piggy Q's. You know what I'm saying? Nice spot. Shout out to all the subscribers. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out to all the podcast listeners and, and fans. These are fries from from uh, PDQs. This is their chicken sandwich. You know what I mean? So we we actually giving people basically free promotion <laughs> of their food. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is my wife's salad. She got the she got the lovely chicken salad. See that? You know, we gotta eat healthy too, baby. And I got honey mustard uh, dressing, and that's it. But I'm lacking one thing with mines. So what are you lacking? I'm lacking mayonnaise. They don't, they don't, they don't put enough mayonnaise on there. He says he's lacking mayonnaise. <laughs> what are we talking about today, Dad? Would you like to tell the beautiful people out there? Today we're talking about a topic that's going on in society today. This topic is kind of touchy because this this situation been going on since black and white people have have come together in in this country. Uh -huh. This topic is, is touchy because you got to put a lot of things in perspective on why these things is happening, and you can't look at it in a in a lens to where where you pick a side. I'm not picking the side. I'm just looking at it outside the box. Some people just look at it for their point of view or their agenda. Right. So, and um, it started 2017, 2000, and now it's 2018. I think now it's a climate changing with um, nations. And I say nations, I don't like to say race, because race is somebody running in a race. This is nations. So where now, Donald Trump, he's enticing race relations between blacks and whites, Latinos, and so forth and so on. So we have now a lot of encounters with black people being in places like restaurants, Starbucks, pools and complexes, mm -hmm. um, young children selling water, and Europeans now is calling the police on black people like rapidly now. And even celebrities too. Vin Rames. Yeah. He was he was in his own house in uh, Santa Barbara and he was in his backyard with some basketball shorts on with his shirt off. And a neighbor next door called the police mm -hmm. and saying that a large black man is breaking into my neighbor's house. But the whole time, it was it's his house. Right. And then the police knocked on the door, and then when he opened the door, they pointed the gun in his face. So my thing is, um, what's going on in society to where now Europeans are starting to call the police on black people basically really for no reason. You know what I'm saying? It's really no reason for them to be calling police. But this stuff been happening since the beginning. Mm -hmm. With stuff like Emmett Till. I'm not saying all Europeans. I'm saying some. So don't twist my words and say, oh, he don't like white people. He's married to a white woman. Exactly. <laughs> so you can't do that. I'm just trying to understand why now all these things are starting to occur. Where you got the one, one, the one of the things that hit the news all across the country was when those black men was in Starbucks, mm -hmm. and um, they called the police because they was just sitting in there chilling out. They ain't buying nothing, but they were just chilling out, and they got. Basically, the cops called on them because of no reason. They wasn't breaking no laws. They wasn't being rowdy. Nothing. They so, were just chilling in Starbucks. Starbucks, for no reason. Because so, it has Wi-Fi. Like, why would Exactly. Yeah, man. Okay. But why they didn't call the police on white people that was in there? That's crazy. 
And when you look at the footage, it was a white man that was taking up for them, saying they was they wasn't doing nothing. Why are you arresting them for? Right. You know what I'm saying? So this climate now is starting to to really shift and, and, and really change, and you starting to see more and more of these incidents occurring more and more in society. Right. My question is why? Why do you feel like you have the the right to call the police because somebody barbecuing in the park? Or a little black girl selling water in the neighborhood. Exactly. Why do you feel the, the nerve? Like when you call the police, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get this person to be put in jail or to damn near probably get killed because you know the climate of what's going on with police and people of color right now? It ain't a good situation. Because not only when... You call the cops on them. You're hurting them. On top of that, when the cops get there, who knows what the cops are going to do. Exactly. Especially um, knowing that if it was a white person, they would not do that. And um, I just saw the other day, it was an older black man, and I think it was his son. They was in a, a, a complex pool. And this, I think she was Latino, I think. I don't think she was white. But she was she she made a fuss about why they was in the pool. Who are they? Where's your, like where's your ID and all this other stuff? At the end of the day, you don't know anybody that live in the complex. Like you don't know they just moved in. Mm-hmm. So she threatened to call the police. And then when it, so the guy gets out the pool and he 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 opens the gate. He has the key in his hand, and then he opens the gate and says, here's my um, evidence that I belong here. And he was actually helping a friend move in, and, the, and it was a hot day, and his friend said, so should I help me move in? Y'all can go cool off in the pool. Wasn't starting no trouble, wasn't being rowdy, wasn't making a whole bunch of noise, but it seems like every time, if your skin color is dark, it's a problem. Like, your opinions don't do crime? Europeans don't steal. Europeans don't don't rape, don't commit murders. Not every person of color is is wicked and crooked or commit crimes. That's just a fact. It's like every European don't commit crimes. Some of them are low abiding citizens. They do what they're supposed to do. But but it, it just seems like y'all so quick to get on the phone and call the police on people. And trying to really get people severely in trouble mm-hmm. for something that they didn't, they didn't even like that Starbucks situation really pissed me off because them guys wasn't doing nothing. They wasn't doing nothing. They was just sitting in there. You can go to a Starbucks right now and you and you will see a bunch of Europeans just sitting in there right. on their phone or on their laptop. Why are you calling the cops on them? Exactly. So I believe. That um, it's just shifting this society to where they're trying to make it a civil unrest. And LeBron James got on, uh, he did an interview not too long ago, where he said Donald Trump is trying to divide the country through sports with the kneeling down of the national anthem. Mm-hmm. My thing is this: if you if you um don't like the injustice of what's going on to people of color and you are a professional athlete do not come out doing the national anthem wait till it's over and then you come out on the field that's the new policy is that either you're going to come out on the field and you have to bow down or you stay in the locker room right it's always a positive way that you can get around stuff you just gotta just use your hand right. don't come out it'd be the same like you'll take a black person sitting in Starbucks chilling then you'll take a white person sitting in Starbucks chilling and they call the cops on the black person right like, and then not, and then on top of that, some white people judge you on your appearance as well, because you know, obviously, like the death of Trayvon Martin had a big thing to do with him wearing a hoodie, mm-hmm. and white people, some white people, always judge a black man in a hoodie as soon as they see him. But hold on, before you say that, hold that thought. But don't, but don't white men and white women wear hoodies. Don't white men and white women wear fitted hats? So, mm-hmm. if they can wear fitted hats and, and wear hoodies and don't get harassed, 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why we can't wear hoodies and fit hats and um, exactly. and be left alone? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But finish what you was going to say. Go ahead. So, I'm going to tell this a little quick story. Okay. So, most of the time, we do get our groceries delivered to our house. And me and my dad went out to go get the groceries. <laughs> do you remember this? Oh, no. It wasn't that long ago. So, me and my dad went to go get the groceries outside. Sometimes they come to the door. Sometimes you have to go outside. So, the lady was outside waiting with our groceries. My dad was wearing a black hoodie. It's basketball shorts and some sneakers, and I was wearing some sweatpants. Oh, that, oh, that's good. Okay. And then <laughs> we were literally just going to get the groceries. So she's on her phone when we get to her car window, and she didn't see us. But we weren't like about to like bang on her car window, or we weren't trying to do anything. Obviously, we just walked up to the car. So then she's on her phone. She's looking down, and then she looks up, and then she sees my dad. This lady starts screaming in her car. Screaming. And she had like a whole jump scare moment. Like she literally flinched. Like, so then we're like, we're trying to get the groceries. And then she was like, oh, you're the guy, you're, you're the person who ordered the groceries? We're like, yeah. Like, but it was, it was like awkward afterwards because you literally just flinched and screamed because you see my dad in a hoodie. Like, I don't know. I was so mad. Like that really irked me. We live in the suburb. We don't live in uh like 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 we don't live in the hood. We live in the suburb. No but it's like if a white person went out to get their groceries from her with a hoodie on, she wouldn't have did that. She would have been like, Oh sir, I'm here with your groceries like See but, but this is a sick this is a sick society. So like what you think about this, Beth? Everybody put so much emphasis on race. I don't never judge everybody, anybody off their race. Mm-hmm. We have to start looking at people's spirits. Yeah. If you have a good spirit, then I can rock with you regardless of what color you are. You could be green and you're cool because you got a cool spirit. Yeah. If you're evil, you have an evil spirit. Regardless of what color you are, it does not matter. What matters is your spirit. Evil comes in all shapes and everything. I don't care. I don't want nothing to do with an evil spirit. Right. So never look at somebody's color and say, oh, they're this way because that's what color they are. That's not the case because a lot of white people do stuff like that with black guys with hoodies and everything else. They could be in a grocery store and grab their bag close, but yet it could be the white person behind you that's going to take your bag from you. It's about the character of somebody, what they manifest mm-hmm. is, is the key because no black person can sit and tell me all white people is evil and no white person can sit here and tell me all black people is evil. That's just, that's just exactly. ridiculous. That makes no sense that you're going to sit and tell me that all Europeans is evil and this is why we in this condition. No, a lot of a lot of people, like I said before, you can go to the ghetto right now, and you can get on. I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn, right? And the three train or the L train every day, and see people that go to school, that go to work, they low by the citizens. They're not in the mix. In their communities, in the filth and garbage of what goes on, they ain't selling drugs, they ain't in no gangs, and they and they handle their business. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So it's some bad apples in every nation of the people, but the real people that run this world. And I wanna, I wanna really kind of, kind of like push this home so y'all can understand what I'm saying. The real people that run this world, and I have to say this, I really don't care no more. The real people that run this world, because you got some people that, that that's from the hood, they blame everything on your pants, everything. But the real people that run this world, the international bankers, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, the Warburgs, whoever, right? They are bloodline families. They don't give a damn about the average European because they are as subjective to these international bankers. When you pay taxes, you have this this uh, currency that's theirs, you are in subjective. And if you are not part of their bloodline, they can care less about you. Doesn't matter what color your skin is. Doesn't matter what color skin color. If you are not part of them, 
Right. That bloodline, who you call the blue bloods or whoever you want to call them, the Zionists, the, the, the new line of whoever, they run this world. They control this world. So the average Mojo Joe European that works a nine to five, they could care less about him. To, to them, he's nothing but a cattle to them. He works for their purpose. So, so, so you can't sit and tell me nothing about that. Read some books. Educate yourself a little bit more. And peep the game. And just like Europeans can't tell me all black people are evil, they troublemakers, because they're not. It's a fact. So we can't judge people on how, like, judge people on what they manifest. That's how you can tell somebody from whom. Not they're white, so this is the character that they're going to display off yeah. top. You don't even know them. Yeah. Or they're black, so this is the character that they're going to display off top. You don't even know yeah. them. Go according to their spirits, their actions. Don't put everybody just underneath that same cloud. You can't paint everybody with the same brush. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You can't paint everybody with the same, say, well, they white, so they evil. Oh, they black. They they troublemakers. Like, you know what's so sad? That people really look at skin color first. Oh, yeah. Like, when I look at you... All nations like, you know how, like, do that. You don't even see some people you don't see color. You know how, like, some people, they, like, they look at certain things when they look at a person, they're like, oh, I look at your teeth first, or I look at your feet first, like, that. Yeah. Some people literally just look at color first. Oh, yeah. Like, for real. A lot of people, a lot of people... Like, do I don't, like... I don't even it pay attention matter. to that. Exactly. Like, I just don't. Right. Not. Some people, they just automatically, if you're this color, you go in that box. If you're that color, you go in that box. Now we'll talk about facts. After we separate the color, we'll deal with the facts of the situation. It's always arguments with, you know what I'm saying, my race is better than yours. Um, a lot of stereotypes. Right. A lot of um, prejudice, a lot of racist views, hateful views. And to some people, race comes first. Yeah, race, race comes first. It's like this, man. You got some people that feel like you got some people that feel like they better than other nations of people because of whatever, like whatever their reason is, whatever their I would say their information is, they think that they better. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like this, man. We all have children the same way, with a man and a woman. We all put our pants on the same way, one leg at a time. Right. We all eat, we all sleep, we all breathe. All breathe the same air, and we all gonna die some type of way. Right. We all gonna meet the same place, the graveyard. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't get wrapped involved into that. No, I mean, I, my mind has passed the color situation. I'm about, I'm about what you what you manifest more than anything else. I definitely agree that the world is obsessed with race. Um, I would have to definitely say that does nothing but divide us and keep us distracted from real life problems. Just like there's a black kid in the ghetto starving, there's a white kid in a trailer park that's starving as well. And certain issues, and I'm not saying blacks, the hood, the ghetto, they get it, and they get it first from the government, and they get it the worst from the government. Mm -hmm. Definitely, absolutely agree. A lot of time, experiments are run in the projects, in the hoods, in the ghettos. Not taking that away, definitely 100% agree. But I do feel when we're so wrapped up into race and color and stuff like that, it does nothing but divide us. We're so worried about fighting for our, our nation, our, our nationalities and things like that, that we can't ever even come together to even fight any type of system issue, system problems, anything. How do you feel? As a as a child that's mixed, living in a society to where it's white supremacists. Mm. I mean, white supremacy. To where this world is ran by, you know, this these families. A structure, capitalism, commerce. It's about money. It's about control. It's about power. 
Can we understand that? They they own the wealth of the world. Okay. They control the world. They control the media, the newspapers. They own television networks. They own they own record labels. So what you see here, they own Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? They are in control, but they are families. There's a difference. I don't get no pass. You know what I'm saying? So the average, the average European walking around here ain't benefiting off of their control, their power. You feel what I'm saying? They are, they are actually being subjected to their power. We all are. They put all these ideas out here to keep us confused and keep us asleep to really peep in the game. You know what I'm saying? But that's another story for another time. I ain't gonna really get to deep into that part. I mean. As a mixed child, um, I get both sides of it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I agree. white people are mad that my dad is black, and then black people, like I'm not black enough to be half black. So I get it from both sides. I mean, hateful, hateful stuff. Yeah. It's like I can't even go get my hair done in the salon without some sort of problem. You go to the white salon, you're not white enough. Yeah. She goes to a black salon, she's not black enough. Yeah. So it's like salons aren't even an option. Certain things just don't go right with me. Or mixed kids, I guess you could say. But, but who but who problem is that? Theirs. Exactly. Because again, if you basing everything on skin color, I have to say, you are a shallow person. Mm -hmm. You are a person that's in tri triple darkness. Period. Because I think is if you're gonna base everything on color, if if everything is about color, color makes you greater than somebody else. So you got black people to be like, oh well, I got melanin, I'm better, I'm the original, I'm this, that, and the third. I'm better just because of that. And you got Europeans say, well, I'm lighter. So I'm better. Yeah. Now I'm not saying that you gotta love, I mean, link up with everybody and be everybody's friend. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is people should have respect for each other. Mm -hmm. To where you can coexist in, in, in a society to where you can live at least in peace. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like even some <clears throat> brown skinned girls and dark skinned girls hate on me because I'm light skinned. They hate it on each other. Yeah. I, I've seen, I've Some, seen dark skin people yes. hate on light skin people. And yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's, it's sick, man. Like it's sick. Or some light skin people bully people because they're dark skin. Like it just, I don't know. Well, say that. To me, people are beautiful. Light skin, brown, dark, real caramel complexion. Everybody's beautiful, man. Exactly. You can't say and tell me that you that if you are black. You never saw a girl that was light skinned that, that wasn't bad? Or saw brown skinned girls that wasn't that wasn't There's bad? Some dark skinned girls that are gorgeous. And, and then like you never seen uh, um black girl that was dark that was exactly. that, that was that was beautiful, that was that wasn't bad. Come on. All shades are gorgeous. We live in a sick society. It's crazy. This stuff is by design. You got black people that come from the ghetto. And they got that Woodland syndrome, mm -hmm. where light is, is is versus dark, old is versus young. You know what I'm saying? People that live in the, in the valley, or in the hills, or in the city, they feel like they better. Right. I live in the suburbs, so I'm better than you because you live in the projects. Like, come on, it's, it's, this it's stuff good. is crazy, man. This stuff is crazy. My question is, is some of these cases have similarities, mm -hmm. which, well, they all have race. I, no doubt in my mind, them white people that are oh. doing that to colored, dark-skinned people, mm -hmm. they put all of one race in a box and you're this person regardless of what they're the people that we've been speaking about don't do this them white people that are doing that that you see them all across the internet they're absolutely horrible people they are doing that they, they absolutely racist hateful racist people do you feel mm -hmm. that any of the stuff that we're seeing online the lady with the swimming pool, the permit patty situation, other 
people, do you think that they're just nosy and a policy obsessed no. people? No. no. It's strictly because they're black. Simple yeah. as that. Exactly. Because if they were policy, blah, 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 they would do that to white people. Exactly. You would see, you would see a European man filming this, this European woman saying, why are you calling the cops on me for? Why are you doing this? You don't see that. Because right. it doesn't happen to them. Right. The the same thing with the mayor of uh, New York, what was his name? Uh, Bloomberg. Bloomberg, yeah. When he was the mayor, he said out of his own mouth that more white people get profiled more than black people. Outrageous. Because at the end of the day, it's like... It makes no sense. White people can walk around here, do whatever they want. They don't have to be scared. They can have fun. They can walk around and be safe and know that they're safe. But then black people walk around here and they to have a certain to degree. constantly be scared, to a certain constantly degree. be nervous. To I agree with degree. you to a certain degree. To but a certain okay, degree. but I'm saying if a, white, if a white person was in a traffic stop, they're not going to be scared, they're not going to be nervous. If it was all white people, most likely If a not. black person got in a traffic stop, you dang skippy, he's going to be shaking in his Absolutely, lips. definitely, 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 definitely. People value color more than they value what people manifest. If color was the ultimate thing, like I'm I'm this color and I'm from this neighborhood or I'm from I'm from this nation. If that's the case then why in every nation of people you got the good with the bad. Mm-hmm. So people are gonna say, well because because of where I live at and I, you can't bring that excuse to me. Right. You just can't I don't care where you live at. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't care where you live at. If you grow up with morals and values and principles, it don't matter where you live, what color you are. You gonna manifest that. Right. So, so you can live in goddamn Baghdad, but if you grew up with morals and values, your mother and father taught you how to be, how to act. It don't matter. You feel what I'm saying? You can go on right now. You can go on World Star right now, and I don't really recommend World Star. The World Star is like. They site is just crazy with a lot of stuff. But you can go on that site right now or just go on YouTube and punch in. Or Instagram. Or Instagram and punch in white people calling uh, calling the police on black people. It's, it's going to be like a page that's going down and going down and going down with different... I definitely with different, agree. You know what I'm saying? Now, you can punch in white people calling the cops on whites. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody got attacked by somebody like that, they're not gonna call. They're calling cops for no reason. Right. I didn't break no laws. I didn't. I'm not in here rowdy. I'm quiet. I'm peaceful. I'm not saying nothing. But you gonna call the cops on me? But it could be a, another European man sitting right there. Some people, like if they got security in the store, this has happened to you before. If they got security in the store, they'll follow around a black person because they think he's about to rob something. Right. Or like steal something. And still. Like literally, will follow right behind you. Like. That's what happened to steal something. That's what happened in Barney's in in um, Manhattan. There was an actor from um, the movie Finding Forest. I forgot his name, and he was in there shopping, and he was buying a belt, like like a like a, a name brand belt. Like, I don't know if it was Gucci or something like that. And do you know they they basically handcuffed him, took his credit cards, and to see if he 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 really on a credit card. Like, come on! You know what I'm saying? Color is always a factor with certain people. Everybody doesn't doesn't base everything on, on color. Because some people's minds evolved past that. They look at what you manifest as a person. But then you have them people that still base everything on that. Come on, man. Right. If you still basing everything, if you are in your late 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and up, and you still basing everything on color, then you really have not really lived and really traveled and really went anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really have not experienced, all your experiences is probably your neighborhood. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? Go somewhere. Experience other cultures. Because not everybody feels that way. Not every European hates black people. Not every European stereotypes are prejudice. That's just the, that's just the reality. And if you think that, then you are, like, 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 I would have to say something is seriously wrong with you. You don't have common sense. Right. You have not lived or experienced anything. And if you are a, a white person that views black people, they all of them is criminals, all of them is negative. 
All of them is gangbangers. All of them is, is, is uh, crack dealers. There's something that's seriously wrong with you. And you have not lived, and you have not experienced people. Right. And this is the problem in society. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I really got to, I mean, what's your question? <laughs> okay, my, my next question to you is, um, do you think that blacks are doing stuff calling the cops on blacks and whites are doing stuff calling the cops on whites, but it's not being publicized? That could be a possibility because the media, the media is, is, is uh, full of dirty tricks. You know, uh, tell our vision. You know what I'm saying? Um, they uh, they always trying to uh, portray um, certain images to cause certain reactions in the world or in communities to have people feel in some type of way. That's why you can't. I'm telling you, as me, you cannot feed into everything you see, everything you hear, because they are testing people to get a certain reaction out of people. True. You know what I'm saying? And the media been doing this for years. You know, I got a book in here called uh, Propaganda. And this book tells you how the media works. How they manipulate the public to have certain perceptions. Right. So you really gotta, I'm telling you as somebody that's experienced, you can't you can't paint everybody with the same brush. You just can't. You can't. Is 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 decent people in every nation on this planet Earth? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and that's just a fact. That's just the that's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's just the truth. Every nation has good, and every nation has bad. Bottom line. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? And and if you feel like all of them is bad, then then you ain't nothing but a hateful person. And Look up the word racist real fast. So while she does that, if they did put, permit Patty doing that to a white kid mm -hmm. or a black, somebody doing that to a black kid, mm -hmm. if they did put that out there, mm -hmm. do you think that people would care? No, they wouldn't. They, they play nation against nation because they want, they want, they want a certain reaction. They want to cause a certain climate right. in people. And, and us as people fall right into it. Of course we do. Well, of course they do because I don't fall into it. Right. I don't care. You, okay. can't call, you can't call me a sellout. You can't call me none of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm none of that. You know what I'm saying? And um, here's, another, here's another stereo thing that... Um, that uh, people be uh, stereotyping when you got mixed couples. It could be a black man with an Asian, a black man with a white, uh, a, a white woman, a black man with a Latino or or Arab or whatever. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have in each each nation that I just said, the people don't like that. Stick with your own kind. Right. Yada, 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 yada. I had to another eating show. Yeah, but, yeah, but no, 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 no. Interracial marriage. But that's a side note. Though. Yeah. They always pulling out, you You got with her because of this. Or you got with her because of that. It's like... Like, has it ever occurred to no, no, me that I've with her because I love her? It's just like, sometimes people... Y'all want mine and y'all want perception that y'all have, right? Sometimes people just fall in love with somebody. Yeah. Sometimes, like, like sometimes people are just compatible. They, like they enjoy each other's company. Like they, that exist. And if you think that doesn't exist, again, something is wrong with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Something is really wrong with you. Not everybody get with each other because people got money. Not everybody get with each other because because they gonna further their career or they don't love their people. That's just, it, it don't work that way all the time. Sometimes a man and woman this can meet. And he, he just enjoys her. They friends. They compatible. Exactly. He likes her. He may be attracted to her. I mean, that, that happens. That's real life. Ignorance right. to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn who married who. 
As long as you have respect for each other and you marry each other because you love each other, you in love with each other. I, that's all I really care about. The only people that have a problem with that is the people that they may not have no no man. Mm. If they had a man, they wouldn't even goddamn care. Something's going on in their life that, that, that they're not happy about. Or whatever the freak they what minds is. A person who shows or feels discrimination or prejudice against people of other races. What is that? Or mean? who believes that a particular race is superior to another. So what's that? What's that? What word is that? That's a ra- that's the racist definition. Oh. So that's the racist definition. Somebody that feels that they're superior over another nation of people. Right. I I just say hate. To me, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. People say, well, well, you're supposed to love your own. I mean, I love humanity. I love humanity. I don't live on the planet by myself. I ain't saying we got to be sitting here, we all the world, and, 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 and had to be linking up with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. I'm not saying that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm just saying respect, man. Because not everybody your enemy, and not everybody is against you. That's in another nation. I mean, some people probably don't even give a damn. Like, I mean, they, they live in their life, you live in your life. You can't be doing that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I understand that we live in a society to where we are oppressed by these families. But these families is bloodline families, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Pick up the book, The uh, Bloodline of the Illuminati. <laughs> the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the uh, Synagogue of Satan. Y'all gotta read, man. Take a thing from Martin Luther King where he says, uh, judge a man by his character. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what you wanna go on. People what they manifest, man. If you if you are Arab, an Indian, Latino, you you are black from the hood, you Asian or whatever, man, if you manifest good morals and values and you have respect for people, you ain't no liar, you don't steal, you don't cheat, you don't deceive. Then, then I'm cool. Then I'm cool with you. You feel what I'm saying? I have no animosity in my heart towards nobody that manifests that. You know what I'm saying? It's the ones that don't manifest that. Right, evil people. Evil people. In every neighborhood, you got knuckleheads. So, who are they? Hmm. Every neighborhood, you got that. European neighborhoods. Black neighborhoods, Asian neighborhoods. So, come on, man. All right. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to clean up your neighborhoods, clean up your household, and clean up yourself. Totally. And then you can sit here and point the finger at the powers that be, that control the world. In order to you clean up yourself, your household, and your community, you shut your mouth. Keep your mouth closed. Don't say nothing. Right. Do those things first. So you got work to do. And until you do that, don't complain about what the government ain't doing and what they should be doing and all this and that. Clean those three things up first. Starting yeah. with yourself so nobody can point the finger at no goddamn body. Clean yourself up. Look in the mirror and be like, what can I change? How can I be better? Then I got to work on my family, my wife, my children my husband, my children, then I can go out and then help my community. But I gotta be 100% first. All right. I gotta be, I gotta make sure I got no spot, no blemish on me. So I'm cleaned up. I ain't using drugs, I ain't selling drugs, I ain't hateful. Then I can help my community and then we can all rise and unite and have respect and love and loyalty to each other. Until you do that, don't say nothing. Keep your mouth closed. Peace, we out. Peace out.